Hey there guys, it's Pastor Kent, and welcome to another episode of Skyfleet. Uh, this, as you remember, is what's left of our Skyblock Island. We kind of tore it up last episode and uh, just took out a lot of the stuff here. And now we're back and we, we've got our plan. We're going to build a platform underneath this island so that we can mercilessly mine everything that is left and just kind of um, make sure it doesn't fall into the void and make sure we... We don't lose anything important. So I have been sitting here uh, farming our trees and our food. And you can see we've managed to get one bread. And I've got two more wheat over in the chest there. And we have some wood planks. And not just uh, a little less than a stack. We actually have close to nine stacks of wood planks. I did some math and figured out uh, that's what it would take to make a square platform um, one block wider than our island uh, on all four sides underneath this thing so that's where we're starting off and we've got our water redirected so that we can actually hop in and out and not get pushed out like we did the uh, one time um, part of that was because the water flow is just kind of pushing in odd directions and uh, I don't need the crap my pants moments uh, quite so much <clears throat> so let's let's get on with this and start making our platform and uh, get moving now you all remember this part and our little platform underneath here, and I'm so glad there's not a skeleton or anything spawned under here. Because uh, we did not put any torches on it. Which um, was probably a bit of an oversight, and we're going to fix that right now. <clears throat> um, yeah, a skeleton spawning down here probably would have been the worst thing to happen ever. Um, would It's not super likely, because you know, we're really close by and all that. And obviously the contrasting wood is kind of super duper ugly. So that is not a permanent thing, guys. I promise. Promise that's not going to stay like that. And yeah, so we're just going to build around the water stream, actually. Uh, which will make it much easier to come up and down it uh, until we actually build our ladder. And this, oh no. We can go out past that, so. <clears throat> Let's actually build a little bit of a cross section so I know how far I'm supposed to build this thing out. So stand on the block. Look up. Okay. So one more block this way. Got it. And... Then obviously... Some of the building under this section is going to be a little difficult because this platform is a little higher than it should be, but I can just take this bottom part out, I think, and not have too much difficulty with that. Okay, so that puts us here. So we need like two more. Yes. Wunderbar. As our friends in Germany would say, and okay, that's a dead even, and that's where that part of the platform will end up. I'm trying to remember if any of the lava or anything is right here, and I don't believe that it is. So, I did not bring my pickaxe. Um, so, going around is going to be the option for today. And it looks like I can go all the way over to here. I sure can. And we'll do this cross-section right here, since I don't have the pickaxe with me. Not a big deal. There's always a way around. Yeah, if you're ever trying to figure out how to do something... Um, Minecraft's actually a pretty versatile game. And... You, you'll find that there's usually, like, more than one way to do pretty much everything. We can get rid of this. Houston, we have a problem. 
Sorry about that, guys. That is my phone. I need to put that baby on silent. So let me stop recording for a second, and I will be right back. All right, guys, and we are back. Sorry about that. Major, my phone is actually silent this time, so shouldn't happen again. Let's continue with what we were doing. Just build our platform out. Um, yeah, this is just a spot that's empty. I, I noticed in the, the playback of the last one when I was editing it that I thought that might have been something that I had done, and it it, it is not. Definitely is not. And this is the outer limit of that one. Perfect. So, now we have our, our borders set up, so we can just kind of start filling in. Sorry about that, if you can hear that. My uh, relative has got a new dog lately, and he's a big dog, and he likes to think that he's a lap dog, and just runs around and jumps in people's laps, and he's way too big to be jumping in people's laps, but he's still a puppy, so he doesn't know that. <laughs> Uh, so, that's been all manner of fun and entertainment for the whole family. Uh, sometimes, uh, pets are cool. You gotta love pets. Uh, sometimes they do things that you're just like, oh, why would you do that? Uh, but sometimes they're pretty cool. Uh, a lot of times they're pretty cool. I actually have a cat myself, uh, as you remember from the first episode. Uh, she does not so much jump on the top of the door anymore, because we moved her cat tower uh, over to the window. Uh, that's based on advice we got from the uh, My Cat from Hell show. Um, Jackson Galaxy, Galaxy, ugh. the host of that show, refers to windows and fish tanks as cat TV. So, uh, yeah, she seems to like it a lot better over there. She can't climb as high, but she, she'll just sit there and watch what's going on in the outside world, uh, which is great. That's exactly what we want her to be doing. Alright. Yeah, so you can see, obviously, uh, waiting for the wood to grow from those trees was the right call. Because we would not have had enough otherwise. Uh, unfortunately, the starting of uh, Skyblock Island is sometimes just a waiting game, and uh, you're just sitting and <laughs> praying that your stuff comes up. So I will try and get as much of this done as quickly as I possibly can. And you kind of get the idea of what's happening here. I'm just sort of filling in. Uh, based on the borders, and uh, once we're done, we'll start tearing up the island. So, uh, I will go ahead and spare you the rest of this, and try and keep the episode length a little bit shorter, and do a little jump cut here, and then I will come back once our platform is finished. Alright, and I'll be right back, guys. Alright guys, we are back, sorry about that, just wanted to finish up the platform, and as you can see, it is done. And we have our torches nicely organized. Uh, and I forgot one. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And uh, you'll notice also that I went ahead and replaced the birch with the oak so that this all looks nice. Uh, it wasn't, strictly speaking, necessary uh, right now, but... I <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I do like to keep the island looking as nice as possible, especially when it's uh, us doing the building. And not just stuff that the map creator made. Um, so, we are going to go ahead and do start off with our mining, however, um, obviously there are some things that I want to do first, like get the iron that we know is here, so that we can make our bucket and move our water and our lava down here uh, before we tear up the rest of the island. So we've got that iron, let's go ahead and get that smelted up. Uh, uh, we need to make a ladder. 
Uh, actually, the, the this whole island isn't going to exist for much longer, so uh, I did, while well off camera, actually come back to several trees grown and some food. Uh, we're going to go ahead and tear this out right now, though. And we're just going to grab the seeds to use later. Um, but I did get enough to make a couple more loaves of bread with the wheat that I had stored up. And we do have 6 plus 8, so that's 14 seeds and some oak logs. And we're moving right along here. So let's get this stuff smelted up. And I'll go ahead and toss in two. That'll actually just use the one wood to cook both, I am pretty sure. Not that it matters, because, you know, the wood's an infinite resource, and it's not going to be a big deal uh, if we end up wasting some. It's not quite enough, is it? Uh, all right, that's not a big deal. Uh, so we need this, and we'll take that, and we will take one of these. And we can finally make our bucket. There it is, guys. Now this is this is precious cargo right now because, yeah, uh, this stuff is. Obviously, we don't have any more iron besides the one ingot, and that's definitely not going to get us uh, enough to make another one of these. And this is the only way we're moving the lava or the water, so let's <clears throat> let's actually start off with the lava. Hey, hey, achievement get. And I think I can go ahead and mine out that lowest section, just so we can move around easily. And we will start chalking down our lava there. It's, I think I only have four of them, but we'll see. Um... Okay, and my mouse stopped responding, so I lost focus on the screen. That was odd. Thankfully, we have this platform here now um, to catch us, and we weren't far enough into the water to drown. So, yeah, uh, that, was, that was weird. That was weird, guys. All right, so let's clear this out. Hey, some hidden iron. Nice. Maybe we will have enough to replace that bucket after all. Now the emerald blocks, I'm not sure what I want to do with the emerald blocks yet. If I just want to mine them. I don't know if the gold pick is capable of mining emeralds. That's something I'm going to have to research. Um, so I may cut out here and research that. Uh, let's grab, well, this might be under lava, so I'm going to leave that alone for now. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is build a place to contain the lava. Obviously, lava and, and wood, not the best of friends. So we're going to make a nice little holding container. So that'll be the center. Mm. All right, we're going to move this off to the side so I don't have to build with quite such a restricted area. So that's only going to give us a 2 by 2 well, You know what? No, let's... I don't know how much is in there, so I'm going to make a 3x3 three three containment thing for the lava. Obviously not putting lava directly on the wood, and we're actually going to fill in these diagonals too, aren't we? Which means I should move this over by one. Yeah, just getting things figured out, guys. There we go. Uh, 
really, really, really don't want to set my platform on fire, because it, uh, was the easiest thing to make. And before we mine all of this, I'll, I'll cover the lava to make sure it doesn't kill everything. Alright, so let's swim back up here, get some more of the lava. I did not plan <laughs> to have a good way to get to this, did I? Uh, okay. Whew, that was not the wisest. But we pulled it off. We made it, guys. Alright. Up there. And then obviously we'll come back up for the water when the time comes. That we can actually store on the... Uh... Okay, so it may just be those three. Which would be fine. We can always alter the design of this to store less. Nope, that was it. Just the four. Ow. Okay, so. Oh, hunger's starting to go down. <laughs> oh, man. It's a good thing we've got the food going now. Uh, I will go ahead and put this. Here. And I'll take this one and I'll put it here. And we will reclaim the stuff that we did not need to use. Just to confirm. Make sure I'm not doing something incredibly dumb. Alright. We've got the lava moved down. We want to keep the water far away from it for now. Move that in so we can hop up here and get to it if we need to. And obviously the water... How far away is this from the thing? It doesn't really... It's just one away. I mean, that doesn't matter that much. And I'm out of that, so... I have more logs upstairs and we need to go grab the water anyway. There we go. <clears throat> so, oak logs. That's a full stack right there. And let's grab a bucket of water. Now obviously that refills itself. Because it's infinite, as will this one be. That's fine. And you pop that down there. <clears throat> and put this here. Infinite water. Alright, we've successfully moved down the lava and the water. We... Hmm. We need to bring our chest and furnace and everything down here. So 
So we'll grab those. Furnace. And crafting bench at least. And that's probably got too much stuff to move in one stage, so once we're downstairs we'll make a new chest and then we'll move all that down. Uh, <clears throat> once that's ready. And now that we have the infinite water source, we can do fun things like this. Easy way down. Let's set this here. Put this here. And we'll use some of this wood. Actually, we'll use the birch first. To make a chest. And if you didn't know, you guys can actually combine wood types to make non-specific wood things, like chests. There we go. So, bucket is stored safely away. Those go there. Everything else is where it needs to be. And we'll do a couple more ups and downs to get the chest contents down here before we start tearing into this island. Uh, dirt, obviously, is going to be very, very important. Food. We can hold on to the torches. We worked super hard to save these, so... Obviously, saplings... Gravel, sand, iron, diamond. Well, diamond is technically part of the gold kit, which I'm I'm kind of hesitant to use any of this stuff because it feels cheaty. Uh, I honestly don't know if the Fortune Three would affect. Like, I I don't know what the gold edition or what a gold pick can actually mine, so I don't know how useful the Fortune Three is. Obviously, it doesn't mine iron. Um, mushrooms are not infinite, this is not infinite. Ooh, and we need to make sure that grass gets down there. That's another thing that I had almost forgotten. That we don't have a good supply of yet. Now we'll take down these, take this, we'll take these, take this, and I guess we'll take the sticks. So that pretty much just leaves the gold edition kit up here. Um, so I'll move that down and we'll keep it as like a keepsake or something, but I don't know that I'm actually going to be using any of that any longer, so. And this is what I was doing. That's going to become a very important block. Since we're basically tearing out the rest of the island, we have to make sure that the grass gets moved down. And since I don't have silk touch, this is pretty much how that's going to happen. So it's just going to staircase down, and once it's down here, we can clear out all that and recover that dirt. But that'll make sure we keep our, um, <coughs> sorry about that, guys. That'll make sure we keep our grass, uh, available. And then I'll just replace most of this. I'll actually just replace this whole ring with dirt so that we have a nice, solid source of grass and... Uh, we can actually farm off this for a little bit until we establish a more permanent farm. Uh, come here, block of wood. Alright, <laughs> make sure I don't get pushed off the edge by the water. Aha, uh -huh. inventory's full. Inventory is full because I should put all of the important stuff in here. So 
so it's not crazy unprotected. And I, I can organize this stuff later. Don't need that right now. Yeah, the worst thing in the world would probably be to empty out that chest and then fall off the edge of the world. And not put it all back into the new chest. Okay, so that will eventually come down and make grass around my water. Uh, which will be good. And do not, do not let me till all of this so that we have no grass left. In fact, no, 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 that's, that's for later. Um, but we can take this block back, and all of this will go right here. Perfect. Now let's head back upstairs and see if there's anything else that we need to grab, and then we'll start tearing apart the island. Uh, once we eliminate the water, of course. And then we actually have the staircase up now, so that'll make that a little bit easier. Not much left to the original island there, guys. Not much at all. So, the gold edition kit, we're going to actually keep separate. So I'm going to set that here. The chest plate. Pants. Boots. Uh, sword. Bow. Uh, arrows and pick, and then gold and diamonds. And then this is just a regular chest, so we'll probably just keep that in there for now, along with those. And I think that's it. I think that's all we needed to bring down. See, it's already started to spread here, so that'll get down there eventually. Uh, obviously off camera, that's not something I'm going to make you guys wait for. Lots of leeway on the corners as far as these jumps. Just a little bit on the edges. But yeah, let's block off that water source and I think we can get to uh, tearing this puppy down. Ah, I was in the block, that's why. And now we don't have to worry about stuff falling off the edges. I might fall through holes that I've made for myself. But nothing's going to fall off the edges. We can get rid of the water direction. Wood. So that's no longer necessary. We have a little dirt staircase. So there's two purposes. Let's just go up and down, and it um, brings the grass down. So, one more block of wood. Got it. doing it guys getting the island torn down basically what we've been working for for the past episode here uh, oh, no. get 
to me. Um, and it occurs to me, you guys might be telling me, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and plant some of those seeds so we have more food coming in while we're tearing the island down. And I would happen to agree with that, because that is smart. You guys are smart. So, uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and... We'll plant these ones up. And these. Then we'll have our one gra grass block. So we'll have to make sure that doesn't get messed with. And there we go. And let's grab our spare pick because we'll need that. There, now we'll have some food growing while we're doing this. Yes, I know I did miss some dirt there. I'm going to go down and grab it in just a second. That's a lot of dirt, actually. And then we can tear this out. It's pretty much like the... Well, it's not the last bit that's left of the original island, obviously. There's not going to be much left, is there? That was probably the highest point of the original island that remained. Because of the water. That's all gone now. Uh, it, it Like, it's a good thing, but at the same time you feel kind of sad because you're, you're like, oh man... You know, the original island is it's coming down. But that's okay. It's making way for... guys now that's pretty much got the dirt from the edges cleared out and the platform has done its job and saved at least two pieces of dirt that I'm aware of and we've got a little bit left here let's go ahead and clear that out there we go that's all the dirt from the original island gone and gone except for this one piece which is our grass block and we can't lose this so we're going to hold on to it and wait for it to spread down to there <clears throat> but otherwise it is all gone guys and this is what's left of the original island and we have our nice pot from below and i just remembered that i need to put an oak wood piece in this hole so we don't fall um because i can see myself doing that so um I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here, guys, because I think it's running a little bit long, even with uh, the portion that is fast-forwarded for you. And we are going to come back to this next episode. I'm going to clean this all away off-camera, and we'll start building farms and stuff and expanding this platform, and uh, we'll get to that. And I'll do some research and see 
um, what I can use to mine these. And if I can use the gold pick, I'll go ahead and use the gold pick because it's got the Fortune 3 on it. And I would like to get the extra emeralds, even though we can get them infinitely later. Uh, that would just be a cool thing. And if I can't use that, then uh, we'll, we'll figure out what we can use. Uh, if it's an iron pick and we don't find enough iron in this portion to, to make one, which I don't think will be an issue because, no, it might be. Um, so if that ends up being the case, then these will just remain and and just stay here as part of the original island until such time as I can actually mine them um, with the resources I find or gather or collect or what have you. So, yeah, that's the plan. That's what we're doing for now, and that's, that's all for now. Oh, uh, one more thing, one more thing. Um, I did notice... Uh, from the original recording that in the options I had it set to peaceful and I'm so sorry I don't know if that was the map creator that left it like that or if that was something stupid I did uh, When I was getting prepared to start the series uh, You will notice however that I do have it switched over to the hard difficulty now, so uh, we are playing non shitty uh, Sorry about that guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, I normally play on hard so uh, Just so you know that's that's been switched over and it's all good now um I don't normally lock the difficulty, because sometimes you, you have to change it for whatever reason or another. Um, but that's just on my personal world, so if that's something you would like to see, if you want to see me actually lock the difficulty onto hard, uh, that's something I'm willing to do, so just leave that in the comments, or uh, uh, yeah, just let me know somehow that <laughs> you want it locked so you know that I am absolutely not doing anything fishy when you guys are not around. Okay, so that's that, and uh, I will get to clearing this out, and I will see you guys in the next episode. All right, talk at you later, guys.